Now taking a live look from Allegiant Stadium, thousands of football fans have booked their tickets to Las Vegas to see the 49ers take on the Kansas City Chiefs. And our Reed Cowan found a place where the eyes of the world will have the opportunity to learn a little bit about the sins of Sin City. Yes, you're going to learn a lot more about organized crime in the United States and how it really took a foothold here in Las Vegas. We are coming to you live from the Mob Museum in Las Vegas, where they expect thousands of Super Bowl fans to punch a ticket here to have this experience about organized crime. And you know, when you are here, you kind of start to feel yourself transform a little bit, kid. You start to see these guys and you realize you're in big trouble, right? And you got to have, your, have to have your mug shot here, kid. All right, you get your number, you see this. They take your picture. And this is a lesson for all you kids out there. See, mind your P's and Q's. Watch. It's the mob, see, kid? The wise guys, the ones always lurking in the shadows. Bad, bad guys with eyes that ended up frozen, see? Frozen in mug shots on a wall at the Mob Museum in Sin City, the place football fans will learn that before tackles and touchdowns, there were right hooks and lead bullets as the lights came on in the Nevada desert. Did you want to get your mug shot taken? Sure. That there's oh, Janet no. Coward. This looks like a good number. 0620947. Bravely getting ready to have her mug shot taken. Mean mug it. Intimidating. Serious. One, two, three. She's doing it just like hundreds of visitors will in the run up to the Super Bowl at the museum that tells the story of Las Vegas's mafia beginnings. It was surreal. It was uh, something I had never hoped to do in real life. Years ago, this place held court where mob bosses were questioned and televised hearings watched by millions. So it was only fitting. Look at their gun. The that the relics of organized crime would be gathered in the very spot so the public can see the battle between good and evil as Las Vegas grew. I think it's fantastic because I'm a crime buff. I could understand how some people wouldn't like this because it's sort of got a bloody history. The museum not only has items like Bugsy Siegel's glasses and guns, but pieces of mob history from all over the country. The wall. Janet gasped when she saw the actual bullet-ridden wall from the 1929 oh St. Valentine's Day massacre that killed seven as mob members were lined up and shot up. I hate to say it's fascinating, but it's fascinating to me to see actual history in front of me. You're touching here, but you're touching someone's soul. Someone died. And to me, that's fascinating and morbid at the same time. We are not here to glorify organized crime. It's very much a part of American history and especially here in Las Vegas, it's a huge part of our history, but it's not about making these people out to be heroes. Mob education director Claire White doesn't whitewash what happened here in Vegas, where for a time, the mob skimmed money and dumped bodies in the desert. This place, she says, is to show crime is a dead end street. A message Janet and her friend Linda got loud and clear sitting in an electric chair. Ouch. When you see this, it, it just makes you think, is it worth it? So listen up, kid. Do the crime, you'll do the time. And in Las Vegas, the monument to mob madness gives a snapshot of Sin City's sins. All right, so you got me. I cop to everything. But guess what? I'm gonna do a plea deal. I sold out a couple of friends here, you see. Look at this. Gianna the Boss Franco <laughs> and Nicole Shade Zalumis. I turned you in. That's how I'm gonna walk free. Mm. I'm gonna hit Las Vegas Boulevard and I'm going to the Super Bowl, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, Reed, it is illegal to be that good and that funny out there. Yeah, just don't step outside today, Reed. Yeah. That's my warning. Careful. <laughs> Giving up the goods.